Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And welcome to an opening of fourth edition Spanish. This is going to be so cool. I'm going to open up one of these two packs and the other one next week. Um, I think I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with the Pegasus. I'm going to so I'm going to keep this for next week. Now these booster packs were sent to me by Ezra, so a big shout out to you, Ezra. Thank you so much for sending this to me and all the other cards that you send. If you uh, have missed that episode that was in the mail day video of last week, he sent a whole brick of magic cards. And uh, in that brick, there were these two booster packs. I'm gonna open this one right now. It is fourth edition Spanish. And if you think about fourth edition, I gotta think about the tap symbol. Fourth edition actually introduced quite a lot of new things to magic. It was the first set, for example, that got released in Japanese but it also introduced the new tap symbol. So before this, it was just a T and before that, just a text tap. It also introduced the brand new white mana symbol and uh, they did a, uh, a copyright claim line under the artist in uh, in fourth edition as well. Ooh, okay. But let's open it up, enough talk. Okay, so we're opening it up. There are quite a few good cards here to pull. Think about uh, Sylvan Library. Think about uh, Land Tax. Oh man, Ezra, this is uh, it's really a thing for me. Think about um, Mana Vault, of course, but also Birds of Paradise. There's just a lot of really cool and good cards in here. I'm personally hoping to pull a Sheevan Dragon. This is the rare. So I'm gonna slide it to the back. These are the three uncommons, if I'm not mistaken. And in the common slot, I guess um, you want to go for cards like Lightning Bolt, but also like Lana or Elves is really cool, Dark Ritual, just a lot of iconic cards in this set. And here we go. So the first card is a War Mammoth, a 3-3 Trample. I'm going to put it there. The second one is a Fear. Whoop, two cards, Enchant Creature. Was mint, but <laughs> it's just so special to open. Let me, let me smell... Oh, the card smells so good. It's just, it's, there's, there's nothing like it. Okay, so we've had a Fear and a War Mammoth. A Wall of Wood, one green for this 0-3 wall. And there is a Word of Binding, a card from the dark. Uh, double black and X, step X, target creatures. It's a sorcery, I believe. And next up. We've got a Marsh Viper. So this thing puts poison counters on your opponent. So these were the first poison creatures. Kind of a big deal back in the day, but it's really hard to make an old school poison deck work, by the way. And we've got a Plague Rats. Let's see how many cards do we have to go. Still quite a few. And, oh, this is a good one. Giant Grove. So an instant plus three plus three. Always useful, an absolute staple in old school. And okay, Dark Ritual, talking about staples, super good card. Dark Ritual turn one into a hippie. That uh, I saw that a lot when I was playing because this is really the era when I started playing Magic as well, 1995. And Urg Raider is a card from Arabian Nights, a two, three for two mana that has to attack every turn. And okay, there is a clay statue. So this is a three one, originally from the Antiquities expansion and two to regenerate. Let's have a look. Ooh, so after this, we're gonna go into the uncommon. So I'm hoping for a strip mine or a source to plowshares. Let's flip it. Okay, so this is a one one flyer. It's from the dark. Oh, I kind of forgot the name, but I know it flies. Here we go. So hoping for a strip mine, a source to plowshares, a counter spell would be pretty sweet. And we have a circle of protection artifacts. Okay, so let me put it here. And the next one, boom! A fire elemental. Wow, look at the quality, so crisp. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning card. Okay, and then we have Glasses of Urza. This is actually a neat little card, really good when you play with counter magic, really good in a deck with Atok as well, quite useful, one to cast. Tap, and you can look at the hand of target opponent. Really nice. And now for the rare, is it going to be a Lantex? Is it going to be a Sylvan? Birds of Paradise, Mana Vault, you name it. Or maybe a Sheevan Dragon. Now that would be cool. Here we go. Boom! 
home. Oh, a jam day tone. This is actually really useful. This is really sweet. Jam day tone, super playable and old school. So I'm definitely going to play this. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Look at that card. Back fresh out of a booster. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Ezra, for making this happen. And also thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And don't forget to come back next week because then I will be opening the other booster pack.